A few months ago, I got this amazing opportunity to go to the Google headquarters and do this conference. It's really more of an unconference thing where you meet a bunch of really amazing, talented people who work in technology and science. I almost didn't go because it was so intimidating, but then I learned that if I wanted, I could just sit quietly in a corner and learn things while enjoying unlimited beverages. So I went, and I'm really glad I did, because I did meet a lot of really wonderful people. And also, I got a free tote bag. And even better, inside the tote bag, was a free gift. And it was this little box, which I would like to talk about this week. Uh, 23andMe is a company that provides genetic testing. If you're not familiar with them, basically you send away a sample to them. That's what's inside the box is a, it's a little sampling kit. And uh, you, you sign onto their website. And once they get the kit, they test it. They check out your DNA. And then they tell you exactly when and how you will die. Okay, no, that's not the truth. The truth, or at least the simplified truth, is that your body is made up of cells and inside each one of those cells is DNA. And your DNA is almost exactly like every other human's DNA, except for a few minor differences, uh, particularly differences that scientists call SNPs, single nucleotide polymorphisms. These are basically little mutations that happen when DNA replicates. And using those mutations, researchers like the ones at 23andMe can do some pretty cool things like trace your ancestry or tell you your relationship to the other 400,000 people in their database. They can even tell you what percentage Neanderthal you are. And before you start making jokes, remember that Researchers are figuring out that the Neanderthals weren't actually as dumb as everybody thinks they were. The other way that 23andMe is useful is in getting information about your health, because your genes are tied into a number of known diseases. Angelina Jolie, for instance, made headlines just a couple of months ago when she got a double mastectomy because she found out that she had a particular mutation in the BRCA1 gene that gave her an 87% chance of developing breast cancer. So she had her breasts removed, and that was because of genetic testing, the same kind of ge genetic testing that 23andMe do. They evaluate a few of the different mutations on the BRCA1 and 2 genes that could potentially lead to breast cancer. So 23andMe will tell you if you have one of hundreds of genetic mutations that can lead to one of these diseases, like breast cancer or even Alzheimer's. And that means that maybe there's something you can do about it. Uh, for instance, like Angelina Jolie, she had a mastectomy with Alzheimer's. Nobody really knows exactly how you can prevent it, but there are researchers who are working on that. And 23andMe will update you on the research as it comes out if you have the gene mutation that might lead to Alzheimer's. So some people will find this absolutely terrifying. Do you really wanna know if you have a good chance of developing a disease like Alzheimer's? For me, the answer is absolutely, definitely yes. Um, your genes are not your destiny. Uh, it's just a, a vision of the future that might happen. Um, but you could have the tools to change it, which I think is pretty amazing. But for hypochondriacs, for instance, this might be their worst nightmare because of all of your genes. I mean, there's probably going to be something that's wrong, some mutation that gives you some increased percentage of a chance at developing some disease. And if that's the sort of thing that bothers you, then this might not be for you. There are some other concerns. Um, for instance, there's the Gattaca problem. If you'll recall, Gattaca is a film from 1997 where a uh, future world exists in which there's a class system based upon genetic superiority thanks to an increased access to genetic testing and genetic engineering. And in the film, the protagonist is a genetically inferior man who wants to go to space, uh, but they won't let him because he's genetically inferior. He is, of course, played by Ethan Hawke a um, obviously a horrific monster uh, who went on to marry his co-star Uma Thurman, um, which was very charitable of her. But that is a concern that people have about things like 23andMe. Um, are we going to go forth into this world where 
people are discriminated against for their genes. And, you know, I have to admit that that is a real possibility. We already have seen uh, health insurance companies here in the U.S. discriminate against people for pre-existing conditions. Well, your genes are a condition that has existed since the day you were conceived. So there is a very real chance that they could discriminate against you if they got access to this information and if there weren't laws to protect people from things like that. And of course, we already live in a class system based on economics. Not everyone has access to genetic testing, particularly the poor. So if we're talking about a an idealistic future where we can treat diseases before we even get them, I think it's safe to say that if we're going there, the rich are probably going to get that first. And that does present certain problems. The other issue a lot of people have with 23andMe is an issue of privacy. Your genetic code is possibly the most private information about yourself. So if you are the sort of person who thinks twice before giving your phone number to a grocery store to get one of those savings cards, you should probably think twice about giving your genetic code to a company on the internet. Um, I share those concerns. Uh, you know, what if somehow an insurance company got access to your information? It could be very bad. But at the same time, I mean, I have no other way of evaluating my own genetic code. I need 23andMe to do it. And in order to do that, I'm willing to take the slight risk of their database being hacked by an insurance company or something. Their worst things could happen, I'm sure. So at the end of the day, I really do think that the benefits outweigh the drawbacks. And that's why I am going to go ahead and give 23andMe my genetic sample. So let's get this started. Let's see. All right. Step one, do not eat, drink, smoke, or chew gum for 30 minutes before giving your saliva sample. 